My name is Vladimir Kornichuk and I'm a hardware engineer at SK Hynix. Today, I'm excited to present to you our new DRAM-based processing system called the Accelerator in Memory, or simply AIM for short. As a lot of us are aware, memory bottlenecks can be quite a challenging obstacle to overcome towards pulling more performance out of today's computational systems. Especially so if the systems are used for servicing applications with low data reuse, such as, for example, machine learning algorithms that operate with small data batches. As it happens in such cases, the processor is often forced to pull significant amounts of data from the memory for only performing quick computations, which then makes the communication itself a major limiting factor for the performance. Our aim attempts to mitigate this issue by offloading some of the most memory-intensive operations from the host and instead performing them directly in memory. The device itself is based on GDDR6 technology and comes in this beautiful silver flatlet package, which not only looks great, but also helps to dissipate all of the excess heat generated during the intense in-memory processing sessions. One such package houses two independent memory channels, which together provide access to one gigabyte of memory space and up to one teraflops of computational throughput. Inside of each channel, we find 16 banks, each of which is provided with its own processing unit. All processing units can operate in parallel and can even be triggered by a single instruction, thus fully maximizing the communication efficiency. Among supported operations, we have multiply accumulate, element-twice multiplication, a variety of machine learning activation functions, and even in-memory data movement operations. So we really try to keep data inside of memory as much as possible. On top of that, we have also implemented an extended DRAM comment interface, which now allows the host to not only issue regular reads and writes, but a whole range of new data-free commands that are specifically meant for triggering computational operations. Now let's see what it can do in practice. For the demo, we will be using this workstation that runs on Intel Xeon Gold CPU and has 128 gigabytes of native DDR4 memory. Unfortunately, conventional CPUs don't support GDDR6 interface, so we cannot directly communicate with our AIM devices. Instead, we will be using the PCI link to first connect the host to the FPGA, which will then provide us access to eight AIM channels placed here on the board. The FPGA here is from Xilinx Ultrascale Plus family, and we'll be using it to run a memory subsystem composed of the PCI QDMA, AIM DMA, and eight independent memory controllers, each for one AIM channel on the, in the system. I should also note that in this configuration, the clock speed of our devices will be limited by the maximum interface speed allowed by Xilinx FPGAs, so our performance will be affected accordingly. In particular, we'll be running at 125 gigaflops, so should expect to see only a fraction of our full potential. Now our lead software engineer, Ilgon Kim, will give you a brief introduction into our demo application. Hi, I'm Ilgon Kim, software engineer from SK Hynix. The application we prepare for today is a text generator based on the GPT-2 model. We'll be learning it using our in-house software stack that we developed specifically for the AIM project. In this particular showcase, the stack will run on PyTorch, but if required, it can also be adapted for other deep learning train frameworks, such as Onyx Runtime. In GPT-2, our AIM can be used to accelerate all fully connected layers and all activation functions in the model. In the small side model we use here, this accounts for roughly 50% of the workload. So the maximum performance we can expect to see is two times. Our application UI is quite simple. We enter the number of words and see the text here, press the button, and post the baseline and the AIM systems will independently generate some text. Once this is done, we'll see the result on the right and both the execution time will show up here at the bottom. Just for a little fun, I looked for pre-trained model parameters in the plugin based repository and found a set trained on the Harry Potter and You Know Who books. Is anyone curious to read new stories about Harry? Just give me a second. Okay, here we go. As you can see, the performance of the AIM system exceeds the baseline by roughly 1.3 times out of the maximum 2 times. But I should mention that 
as the GPT motor size increases, the portion of the frequency layers and activation functions grows as well. So, in large models, we can expect to see better results. Thank you for listening to our demonstration.